rushing. We're going to the blessing of the fleet, but we're gonna be in it. And we just got a phone call like 10 minutes ago. And I like had my hair in curlers. I didn't have my makeup on. I was totally not dressed and my teeth still aren't fresh. And, and Hal was mowing the grass. <sighs> we're going on an ultra classic wood boat with our buddy Anderson from Pathfinder Charter. So if you guys wanna go sailing, call Anderson. We're gonna be late. Anderson said stay here at his yeah. boat. We walk over here, he can just bump up and pick us up. Okay. We're making a line, I guess. <laughs> okay. Where's the blesser late? Oh, there she is. What's up folks? Today we got a busy day of fixing and looking. Yeah, we've got to uh, we got to get up to Miller. We've got to get some parts for the Beneteau. I have to show the Marine Trader this morning in about an hour. So that'll be fun. And then we're going to catch up with Hal back at the Beneteau and see what he's getting into. And then this afternoon, we actually have to go look at a new listing that I have. It's a 2000. 
four Regal Outrider. So here we go. Let's go. Taking you to the house, and you're going to get in your car and go do what you need to do. And I'm going to run around and do all the stuff I need to do. Okay, that sounds good. We can't do it together because we don't have enough time. Now. You need to be at the boat in an hour. I can't get back here, go to the house, get back here, and then get back to the boat in an hour. Kyle's upset because I didn't bring the part that we needed for the Beneteau because it's in my other purse. You had one job. I had one job, but you gave me that job like a week ago. No, I gave you that job two days ago. And I said I would lose it, and you said I would. And I said, well, then we, you need to keep it. So we go to Miller Marine. I did. I kept it. It's the whole reason we had to come to Miller Marine, and you knew it. But then you forgot it. Well, I wasn't reminded. And you forgot to remind me as much as I forgot about it. So... good looks like it's ready to show and my people are in the parking lot so let's sell this boat what's going on in the Beneteau um the air conditioner filters both need to be changed out we have to have the correct item number and also these need to come with us uh they don't have them at Miller so we're going to West Marine okay <laughs> this is it they got two of them it's two how many we need we need two, and we need a little piece of hose. What's this about? Measure how much? You're gonna measure that one hundred. Okay. A hundred dollar bill is, or any bill is six inches. This is why our house is a mess because Hal's here and uh, the piece from the boat's here and the things that we're buying are up here and then that's why like the remote to the TV is like in the truck or at the convenience store down the road or something. Am I wrong? It's not a convenience store. It almost was. All right, you guys, we're back on the Beneteau and Hal's down here. So the boat's getting two new strainers, one new float switch, and uh, we're getting some cabinets put back on. We're missing like some cabinet doors here. We have them. So, you know, the boat will be a little bit more put together and the boat's pretty well good to go. It's ready to sail, but um, it's ready to sail and it's ready to sell. Now I really have nothing to do until we leave in a few minutes to go look at this, this Regal. So... Okay, so, the Regal. Uh, just had a look at it. It's just been sitting. It needs to be cleaned. The trailer needs work. Uh, so yeah, I don't know. I guess I'm going to sort of write up an assessment tonight and figure out what we're going to do. Um, I guess I'll send something over to the owner and see if he wants to do any work to it. Um, it's a great little boat. It's just, it's a freshwater boat. When you run a freshwater boat in a saltwater area or even in a salty environment, like things corrode, things rust. Um, those boats aren't built with the same materials that a saltwater boat is built with. It's inevitable here because we have huge bays. Um, and even when you go up in the, the nooks and crannies of these bays, there's still salt in that water. So even just the air here is extremely salty. I don't know, it's it's a good boat otherwise. So we'll see what, what we're gonna do about it. I'll let you guys know. If anybody wants a 2004 Regal bow rider, um, definitely get in touch with me because there's one for sale. <laughs> with you though. I mean, it's 
both of us. You want to be my friend now? Can I pick you up? Are you going to bite me if I pick you up and throw you on the dog? <laughs> oh no, he wants to play. You hear that beautiful noise? Yeah. They work. Good. If anyone was curious what we did with our day, this was it. This was our week. Basically just running fishing trips and showing boats and looking at boats and fixing boats. <laughs> I think we're gonna be here for a while, but hey, you know what? The spinato will be better for it in the end. The surveys will come out better. And um, yeah, maybe, maybe we get her sold soon. All right, you guys, thanks for watching.